Hi there, fellow bird, and welcome to this week's tip of the week. And we're going to talk about the wet, damp lies, those real smelly lies around the greens that we're experiencing at the moment in these winter months. We've had a fair bit of rain of late, and you can see here where I'm standing. If I push down, I'm getting a bit of casual water. So if you, uh, if it's borderline whether you're going to actually get relief and you have to play that shot, I want to give you the tools today to be able to get it on the green to six feet and give yourself a chance for that pass over, that critical pass over that we're all striving to do every day. What we don't want to do with this shot is we don't want to hit the ball with our knees. We want to hit it with the toe of the club. And what I see with the club golfer struggling with this shot is panicking with the lie, panicking with the uncertainty of what the ball's going to do out of a wet, sticky lie and trying to help the ball. <clears throat> okay, so what I suggest we do is get build a solid foundation with a little bit more squat. Okay, we want to keep the knees flexed throughout. We also want to focus on the arms, the arms swinging long to long with very little wrist cock. What we don't want to be doing here is using our wrist and engaging the ground like this. And it's so easy to hit the ball fat or, or heavy if we use too much wrist. So I'm in, encouraging more of a arm swing with a very, very quiet body. Even if you catch the ball a little bit thin, it's going to get the ball on the green to set a six feet to give yourself a chance. So what I'm going to focus here with our setup, I'm going to set up normal, but I'm going to lift the hands a bit higher. So the, the shaft's going to be quite vertical. Now what that does is it exposes the toe of the club. I'm going to try to hit the, the ball off the toe of the club, which is the sharpest part of the sand iron. What I don't want to do is have the whole sole being presented to the ball where I could scull it or the leading edge could hit it heavy. So I'm actually going to try to just clip it clean with that sharp pointy toe of the club. Let's give it a go. So we just want to look at the two ways to execute this shot. One, where we're using too much wrist bringing the, the heavy shot or the chunk into play. And option two, where we use the arms, the quite lower body and the arms with a longer swing with very little wrist cock. The second option being the better option.